Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little question element appearing more than 25 in sorted array. Okay, so let me introduce two solutions. And this is the first solution. So this description said more than 25%. So that means length of target number should be at least quarter of length of input array, right? So in this case, so uh, 9 uh, divided 4 equal 2. So point is if the two um, if the number two steps ahead is the same number as the current number, it can be considered as 25%. So be careful, we need to include the current number. So because so let's say uh, two divide nine should be 0 0.2222 something. So this is not more than 25%. So if we include the current number, so that means 2 plus 1 is 3, right? And divide 9 should be 0 0.3333, blah, 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 blah. So this is more than 25%. And uh, one more point is that we don't have to iterate all numbers in input array because uh, we compare current number and uh, the number in current index plus quarter. So uh, the number of max iteration should be like a total length of input array minus quarter. Okay, so let's see one by one. So start from index zero. So current number is one. So and equal. So we compare the number in like a two step ahead. So in this case, uh, index two, right? So value is two. So one is not equal to two. So in the case, one is not answer. And move next. So current number is two and uh, the number in uh, two step ahead is six. So they are not equal, so two is not answer. And move next, again, uh, current number is two, and uh, the number in two step ahead is six. So they are not equal, so two is not answer. And then move next, so current number is six, and uh, two step, the number in two step ahead is six, right? and they are equal, so that's why we should return 6. So we confirm that, so at least between this range, we have 3, 6, right? So that is more than 25%. So if we have 3, so at least like 0.3333%, so like 33%. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, calculate the length of input array. So n equal length of array. And uh, calculate the quota. Quota equal n divided 4. And uh, start looping for i in range. And uh, as I told you, we don't have to iterate all numbers. So n minus uh, quota. So that's because every time we compare current number and the uh, number in um, like a quarter step ahead. So in the previous section, so two step ahead, right? So that's why. And if current number equal and uh, the number in um, quarter steps ahead, so current number, uh, current index plus quarter. So if two numbers are same, so that is the answer. So in the case, return uh, current number. Yeah, that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, it looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of um, n minus quarter, right? And the space complexity is, I think, O1. OK, so let's talk about the second solution. This is a step-by-step -step algorithm of the first solution. OK, so let's talk about the uh, um, second solution. OK, so my second solution is to use binary search to find the left, leftmost current number and the rightmost current number. So the title said sorted array. So uh, we can easily imagine we have like a binary search solution, right? And uh, I think uh, we have three points. So first point is we can start from index uh, that is equal to quarter. And the second point is number of iterations should be number of possible candidate element. And uh, a third point is even if we find the target number by binary search, we should continue it. So let me explain one by one. OK, so let me explain the first key point. So we can start from index that is equal to quarter. So in this case, total length is 9 and divide 4 equal to 2, right? 
So we can start from index 2 here, not index 0. So that's because uh, the number at index 0 is answer. So index 2 is the same number as index 0, right? Because uh, at least we need uh, like uh, three numbers, right? So I did the calculation, but uh, 2 divided 9 equals 0 0.22, something, right? And uh, 3 divided 9 equals 0 0.33, something, right? So this is a more than 25, but this is a less than 25. So at least we need uh, three numbers, right? So that's why um, when we start from um, index 2 and uh, execute final research, and uh, if um, um, we find the uh, um, same number at index 0, so I think uh, um, so the number uh, between this range is answer, right? But uh, in this case, um, index 2 is 2 and uh, index 0 is 1. So that means definitely this is not answer. So that's why uh, we can start from index 2 in this case. Okay, so let me explain the second key point. Number of iterations should be number of possible candidate element. So if current number is answer number, we should return. So there is a same number in current index plus quarter. So current um, index is 2, and uh, so uh, the number at index 4 should be same. So here. So this idea is the same idea uh, as uh, solution 1, the first solution. So in other words, if uh, they are different, so we don't have to care about uh, between current index and uh, current index plus quarter minus one. So I mean this range. So they are not answered definitely. So that's why we can move forward by number of quarter next time. So now index two. So next target number should be index four. And uh, this binary search returns the index number of leftmost and the rightmost current number. So how can we know current index plus quarter is a different number? So actually, calculation is very simple. So calculation should be rightmost minus leftmost plus one is greater than uh, quarter. So if we meet uh, this condition, so we can consider current number as an uh, answer number because uh, at least we have uh, like a more than like a quarter number, right? So in this case, quarter number is two. So at least we have three current number. So that's why. Okay, so the last key point is even if we find the target number by binary search, we should continue it. So usually uh, when we execute binary search, we stop when we find the target number. But in this question, uh, we need to find the leftmost index and the rightmost index. So even if we find the target number, so the number is not always like a leftmost or rightmost. So what I'm trying to say is, so uh, let's find the uh, six. So and uh, let's say uh, we are like a uh, pointing this six. So this six is uh, one of the target number, but uh, this six is not leftmost or rightmost, right? So leftmost is here, and the rightmost is here. So that's why even if we find the target number, we have to continue binary search. So that is a uh, uh, different from like a typical binary search. And uh, if we find a, a target number, when we find the leftmost uh, index, so we need to move left, right? So uh, because a uh, leftmost is on the left side, <laughs> very simple. And uh, so be careful. In that case, um, we move right pointer to middle minus one. So right equal uh, middle minus one. So on the other hand, uh, if we find the target number when we find the uh, rightmost index, so move right. So because the uh, rightmost is on the right side, so in the case, um, update uh, left pointer to middle plus one. So like uh, it's kind of uh, like uh, opposite, like uh, left and right. So be careful. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, calculate the length of input array. So like this. And uh, calculate a quarter. Quarter equal n divided 4. And uh, so first of all, handle the case where quarter is 0. So if um, quarter equal 0, 
So in the case, return um, index uh, number at index zero if n is greater than uh, zero, if not, uh, long. And then uh, check every possible candidate element. So this is uh, like a key point one and uh, two. So for i in range, so as I told you, uh, we can start uh, from like a uh, index, uh, which is equal to quarter. So quarter and until n. And uh, so we can, uh, every time we can jump like uh, by number of quarter. So quarter. So this is a uh, key point one and two. And then, um, so we execute binary search twice and uh, left occurrence uh, and uh, binary uh, search and uh, passing the current number and uh, like a uh, true and true and false. Um, so I'll explain later. And uh, I copy this and then change right and the uh, right is false and then after that um, so let's uh, finish this for loop so as i told you if um, left occurrence not left occurrence right occurrence minus left occurrence plus one is greater than a quarter so in the case current number is answer, so return current number. And uh, so let's create a binary search. So, okay, here. So def binary, binary search and uh, target number and uh, is fast. Okay, so about uh, this true and false. So we will get them um, as a uh, is fast. So that means is fast is true. So we are trying to find the leftmost um, index. If is fast is false, we are trying to find the uh, uh, rightmost index. Okay, so let's implement a binary search and the left and the right equals zero and the length of array minus one. And uh, I put a result, uh, I put a minus one as a result at first. And then uh, while left is less than or equal right, so uh, we continue. So calculate a mid number, mid index. So uh, it's simple, left plus right divide two. And if um, middle number mid equal target, in the case update result variable with mid index, and uh, this is a key uh, point three. So even if we find the target number, uh, uh, this target number is not always like a leftmost or a rightmost. So that's why we need to continue. So if is fast is true, in the case uh, we are trying to find a leftmost uh, index. So move right pointer with mid minus one. So else, so left equal uh, mid plus one, which one. And uh, else if um, middle number is less than target, in the case um, move left pointer with um, mid uh, plus one, oops, one. And then if not the case, move right pointer with mid minus one. And then after that, return result variable. Yeah, that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be, I think, an order of C multiply log N. So N is a length of input array and C is a number of candidates here. So C should be like a N minus quarter and divide quarter. And the space complexity is uh, O1. I think I don't use a extra data structure, just a simple variable, I think. This is a step-by-step -step algorithm of the binary search solution. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. 
I'll see you in the next question.